good morning children how are you doing today hope of hope all of you are doing good so welcome to our school sri veda the universe school all of you know that i am kamala and this is our english class so what have you done in, in your in our previous class what have you have you done we learned the poem your first lesson we started the first lesson it's a poem what is that poem turtles so i gave you to read the poem have you read children very easy no so today let us one more time read the poem and today we are going to underline the new words ha huh? what are the a little bit new words which you didn't learn before so first let us see what are the new words and then we will uh, go for the next page one many i told you yesterday that uh, i'll explain you what is one many which is nothing but singular and plural which you have already done in your revision class so all of you open your textbooks always keep your textbook and workbook one notebook pencil and eraser ready whenever i ask you to open you should be ready to open your books so open your textbook open page number open page number 6 Yes, that is your first lesson, turtles. So all of you, put your fingers. Let us once read the poem. Then we will underline the words. First, before we underline the words, let us read once. What are the new words? First one is the lesson name itself, turtles. I told you what are turtles. Turtles are nothing but tortoise. These live more in the water. and you know i told you that turtles live on land and water also they can survive on land and water what is next one is fr fr a n d friend friend means you know crawl cr cr all crawl crawl means pa karata i told you using uh, using to uh, moving your with your body touching on the ground like a snake lizard all the reptiles usually move like that so that is crawl next is a sea sea means a big water body like a beach khelte or you see the beach the sea no that is sea ocean next one is an other an other an other an other means one more if we telling about uh, something else we say another mukokati that is another next one is sh or shore shore means the land which is before when any water body a river or lake starts before that there is some land like sand will be there that is called the shore boddu antar nadi boddu na alaga samudra goddu that is called shore so next one is dive the u a dive so dive means what i told you to jump into the water yes um, next one is swims sw m s swims so swimming you know so turtles swim no in water usually fishes turtles all these one swim in the water so four baby turtles go for a dive means they jump into the water so all of you these are the new words now you have to underline these words in your poem so let us read the poem while reading the poem i uh, tell you which word to underline so be ready with your pencils you can underline so let us start one baby turtle alone and true so first one is turtle it's turtle only not turtle so in the first line you underline turtle underline means you know no just put a line under the word like this just like this underline now second line let us go to the second line finds a friend and then they are two finds a friend so the second one is friend underline friend yes children it's the in the second line friend yeah got it now let us read the third line 
Two baby turtles crawl down to the sea. Now crawl. Here in the third line you can see crawl. Now underline this one. Underline like this. I have done no? See and do like that. Now let us go for the next line. They find another and then they are three. So now another here. In the fourth line underline another. Now let us go for the next line. Three baby turtles move on the move along the shore. So now you will underline shore. Shore. This one is shore. Then go let us go for the next line. They find another and then they are four. In this line, no need to underline any word. Now let us go for the next one. Four baby turtles go for a dive. Now here it is dive. Underline dive. Now let us see the last line. Up swims another. Then they are five. Now underline in the last line. You will underline swims. Yes, got it children? Very good. So this is the poem. Now let us see what is one meaning. All of you have read the poem now. One baby turtle alone and true finds a friend and then they are two. Two baby turtles crawl down to the sea. They find another one, then they are three. Three baby turtles move along the shore. They find another one, then they are four. Four baby turtles go for a dive. Up swings another, then they are how many? Five. So in this poem they started with one turtle. First how many turtles were there? Only one turtle was there and it started to make friends one by one, one by one and they became turtles. So first there was only one turtle and then they became turtles. Now why they are turtles if there are one there more than one? Vokati kanna ekkuga unde appudu mana s add chestam it becomes more. If we are talking about more, we just add S to the word and it becomes more in number. So, turtle is one and turtles are many. Not only five, it can be many more than five also. So, this is about one many in your next page like that. If you see in your, here it is given in your classroom. If we look around your classroom, you can find many things Many, where are there one thing or many things? There are windows. If there are more than one, we say windows. What are the things you find in your classroom? But right now you are not in your classroom, you are in your home. So look around in your room. What you find in one and what you find in many. Let us see, one table, chairs. Only one, there won't be only one chair, no? Table, there will be more chairs, so you say chairs. And sofa, TV, if you have more than two, one TV, TVs, like that, you see what you have in one and what you have in many. So, then we'll go down. Now, open your textbook, open page number seven now in your textbook. Here, they are given nice pictures for one and many. There is given one turtle and turtles also. And there is one friend, friend friends. If it is only one, if you have only one, we say friend. If you have more than one friend, we say friends. I have four friends. You say friends. Now again they are given bus. If it is only one bus, then you say bus. But if you go to a bus stand, you can see buses. Many buses, even on the road, you see buses, car, cars, like that. And another word is given here, box. And many means boxes. Now I'll tell you when you get S and when you get ES. So there are some words where you get ES. I explained you in your revision class. There are some words where you just add S like turtle, turtles, friend, friends, pen, 
pens you are adding only s when you get sound only you are adding s but here it's given bus but here you are adding es even box box says s sound if you get s sound you have to write it es and also you can remember if any word starts with the ch most of the time sh x and uh, if you get o sometimes also if it ends with o also you get es one thing it's better easy to remember if you get the sound s buses boxes foxes glasses then you get es if you just get just get the sound of s pens pencils and friends and more let us see more fox rat rats cow cows only sound then it is only s so here down they are given some more examples with s and es apple apples only s cow cows pen pens rat rats brush brushes mango mangoes yeah i told you when you write get o if it ends with o then we write es we don't get s sound we got only mangoes z sound only but we have to write es usually mangoes potatoes tomatoes for that you get es at the end and a glass glasses fox foxes this is how we write i gave you at uh, 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 actually two times also for homework singular and plural so i think you are very good in writing this one now so this is for the in the textbook today i want to give you homework in your workbook so all of you open your workbook page number 4 it is just a revision exercise of what you have learned in your previous class class means ukg what you have learned in ukg it is about that one so let us once see what you have to do very easy here they are given some words there are some apples you can see you no know, there are some apples given and in these apples they are given some words and here you have some dashes so what you have to write you have to write uh, the words in the alphabetical order means you have to write the word which starts with a first then the word which starts with b see the numbers in one you have to write the word which starts with a which is the word which starts with a arrow so where is arrow that one will come here then what starts with b look here search here which is starting with b then you write here then again search and write the one which starts with c like that you arrange these words in alphabetical order till z yes you see the numbers and according to the numbers you write it's very easy so this one you will do for homework for today so that's for today children uh, have a nice day and goodbye